Whoa, hello fellow commanders, a little bit of a late introduction here, but uh, Hot Hollow Point coming to you from Powderhorn Mesa, bringing to you another game, Supreme Commander 2000 and 20 mod. Spawning in, as I said, Powderhorn Mesa as uh, the Aeon faction, khaki colored Aeon. So we call it. Sorry, I'm white Aeon. And I am playing against uh, Cybran Potato Man, my bud the Spud, as I like to refer to him. My Bud the Spud, Potato Man. Music in the background by Pinner. Link for him in the description. Check out his music, please, guys, if you don't mind. I think it's pretty cool. I think it really fits the mod well. It's got some good build up in a situation like this where I'm just getting my base, just getting amped for epic battle. Let's do this. Two engineers, 50 tanks, on repeat. Get myself a bit of power so I can get these uh, tanks rolling when the time comes. Also gonna get uh, a research station I'm going to put it up near the front, too, just in case I ever need to overdrive it. You see how it's got this red ring here? That's the, uh, you'll see it when it finishes. Little overdrive ability. Not overdrive ability, uh, vortex ability. It's UEF who has the research station overdrive. And one more energy here, and then build, uh, get him. Actually, I don't, will not have enough for another factory. I think and get sent him out to get uh, my mass extractors is what I'll do. Let's get that build time reduction. Each of these factories cutting some build time off of. Now, one thing people should know is, uh, like, even though it says four seconds now. That is the default five seconds with the twenty percent uh, decrease becomes four seconds. But anyways, the four seconds per tank. There's also a roll off time on the factory in between that, so it's actually seven seconds. But you only get the bonus on the five, so it's like it usually takes eight seconds to actually build a tank. Um, but even like when you assist, uh, when you get the build time reductions, anything like that, any of the time bonuses, you're still always facing that three second rollover period. So you count it. It stopped one, two, three, go. So even though I'm building tanks in like three seconds and before they took five, like there's still always the rollover period, so. Anyways, I'm just gonna stand here with my ACU. I'm being a little bit inefficient about this. I should have him assisting both factories so he goes back and forth. That's how you min max at this point. And I'm just gonna sit here and just let my ACU heal on his own. I usually have a um, NG heal him, but that's just when I face aggressive players. I don't think Potato Man's gonna be in my face. He always expects me though, so. Just a little mind game I'll play with on this game. I probably won't go out. Leave my ACU here just to just to do some assistant, just to help out, you know. Might send my, uh, I do want this land blob out there just so I can scout him. Um, but I'll send my engineer for the radar. Usually I send the ACU, but I want my ACU to build and heal. He's cool. Just chilling for now. Everybody else, though, you get to the front lines. Usually not a good idea to do this. If I see his ACU, I just got like essentially scram as fast as I can. But in the meantime, like look how many factories I'm getting here. 
Definitely afraid of this blob. Look at the blob. It's like twice the size of my blob. Where'd that engineer go? I don't want. Oh, I'm gonna lose him. That's not gonna be good. Come on, kite tanks, kite. deficit right now. I need some more energy, so let's get that building. My base design is really sloppy right now, too. I can't, uh... It's no good. Should no good. Yeah, he should turn around with his land units, because he's losing this fight. Now that my reserves showed up, he's gonna have a huge group of reserves, though, like, easily as big as mine, if he's smart, like, right behind these. And or, like, uh, start building Brackman. Now's the time to start building Brackman. Now that I got, like, a land force that can definitely, like, beat yours. And keep building factories and head for, uh, if your opponent's ever, like, just, if you're Cybran and your opponent's land spamming you, um, just go for, like, uh, unit shields. And just spam a bunch of factories. Keep in mind that your factories give you, uh, research, so... If you spam eight factories, that's essentially you got yourself a free research station. So if he has a research station, which I guarantee you, he almost guarantee you he does, because it's usually part of his opening build. If he has that, and then eight factories, which he could right now, he's Siren, he could be spamming that. It's a possibility anyways, or he could be close to it. Like I've got, what, six here? Five? He could have six, six or eight, somewhere in that range. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is he would have a bunch of... I gotta get my AC in this battle. I might even uh, beef up my AC here a bit. He's giving me land superiority. He needs to not do this. If you're facing somebody who's spamming land, just like literally just you gotta try it at least. Out spam them with just keep building factories, keep building because your factory could be free research, like I said. So the more factories you build, the more free research you get. So you just, like, build up your bot army, get your bots, the shields, get your bots, rate of fire upgrade, get your bots, all the upgrades you can. Spam a bunch of energy so you can get some bot abilities. And then also just have a bunch of Brackman. Just build up some Brackman. Like, he should hopefully have some Brackman going now, too. I mean, it's hard. Siren's hard. They are. But... I try to be positive. He could also be, like, hopefully for his sake, expanding here, sending a flank around. Like, so many options he could be doing to me right now. But trying to fight is not really one of them with Cybran, if you can avoid it. Like, right now, he should be sending his troops, like, to the north to try to drag me back into a... You know, if he has radar. Plus the other thing, like, I just don't have radar here either, so... It's hard to tell what he's even doing. If he was in the dark here attacking me, like, he could totally do some damage. It's a bit of radar, because I got it on my factory. Um, I'm going to start teching up, just teching up hard now, I think. I'd like to get a one air factory, I think, and uh, just give him a scout out and see what he's up to. scout is like I'd like to know what he's doing if he's you know I have mostly set the pace for this game at this point but 
I can find out what he's doing, then I can match and or exceed his pace, I think, at this point. Um, I don't really need the research, but I need the research cap here. Let's see how I'll go in a second from every research station stores to research in your cap. So you'll see I'll go to nine research in a second. Uh, he has Siren, so he's got anti-air on all his uh, factories. I'm not expecting to um, for this fighter to live or survive or anything. I'm just wanting it to, like I said, just go skedo for me. Okay, he's definitely spamming land, so I gotta continue land spam as well. Yeah, he's got only one research station, so he's doing the right thing. Hopefully spamming bots and uh, getting shields on them. Going for Brackman. I really should have been in his face sooner or else, because uh, he's going to start um, not outproducing me, but like out teching me soon. Good thing I got that second research station. Keep up with him somewhat. I'll go for unit shields as well. I right now have eight factories. He's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So he has like double my production. But, you know, he's Cybern, so he's uh, third weak. Weak sauce. Um, use a non formation move right now, dude, because, yeah, yeah, there you go. I'll get your units spread out. And you need to have your Brackman here. If you have any, just peppering me. Try to spread your... I need to do this too. Spread your units out into uh, two groups. Oof, he is uh, definitely doing a good job here to attacks. See, like, if his bots had shields on him, which they should by 15 minutes, um, he would have fared much better. I'm going to have shields now, like, I should be beating a cyber player to shields. That sort of whole thing, if you're gonna land spam, you need to upgrade your lands and bot shields. Shields, if you're going for bots, is like the number one. If you're going to other parts of the tree, then maybe bots shield turn in, but see now he's playing it right to these like uh, or somewhat I mean he could even have all this stuff out of range and I wouldn't be able to shoot him because he's grouping his troops weird. You need to use non-formation, or you need to use formation moves, dude, so they spread out. Because they're taking massive damage now. Too late now. I've just got land superiority. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think I just get to walk in here.
No, I've been kicking Potato Man's butt a little bit here, but it's just because he doesn't play Cybern that much. He is trying to learn, so I give him props for that. And it did not take him long to learn UEF when I uh, posted a few of these videos and he had a chance to learn from them. lazily because I uh pretty sure I've already won this game. Again, Cybern, hard faction. Very micro intensive, very macro intensive. Or it is to say, even their macro requires micro. Alright guys, if you made it this far, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, please. Then you can catch all the videos that I post. Don't even have to ring the bell if you don't want to. I'm not going to force you to do anything. Anyways, let's look at the scoreboard, then we'll bid our adieus, say our goodbyes. Oh wow, he actually uh, out-resourced out, uh, me. Um, be good to yourselves, guys. Be good to each other. Good games to all. We'll catch you for the next one. Bye for now.
Hello everybody, Hot Hollow Point here, bringing to you another game of Supreme Commander 2020 mod. Spawning in as a cyber faction, playing against Potato Man. Okay, go for the build time right away. Get this land factory going. Throw down a bunch, another land factory after a bunch of mexes. Get myself uh, five or so P gens just to run these. Music in the background by Pinner. Link in the description. Please check him out, guys. Now, I am going to probably just head for bot shields. Oops, this needs to not be idle. Two engineers, 50 bots on repeat. I'm actually just going to slide my uh, factory's move order to the back there just for a moment. Head for this build cost upgrade. Want to get this upgrade, I mean, pretty early in the game, just because that's 10% off every building perpetuity for the rest of the game. Can't go wrong with that. Okay, now that that engineer came up the back there, I'll send my waypoint back to the front. Actually, get the upgrade I'm talking about getting. Now, the thing with Siren is like, uh, when I mouse over, look down here, right in this area, you get a little bit of research with your. Well, every faction gets a bit of energy, but you also get a little bit of research with Siren. Um, so, as much as people like to get, like, an early game research station Siren, it's also, like, can work where you just spam factories and get the equivalent of research. Because none of your upgrades, none of your early game upgrades, the most expensive one that you can't get, that you're limited by uh, resource cap at the front, off the front of the game. Give me a second here just to uh, do what I need to. Um, you can't get shields because it's six. You have five. Research cap off the start is five. So you can't get shields, you can't get loyalist jammer. You get, like, every other upgrade up to, like, Star Training 3 for your bots. Oh, you can't get jump jets either, my apologies. But, you know, you can get a lot of upgrades without even needing a research station, is what I'm saying. And since your factories give you research, you can get away without them. I'm going to try to do that this game, or at least show you guys um, how, how to make it work, hopefully. I'm sending my bots out. Now, I, this is the important part where you really have to watch, like, just what's going on. Um, my ACU is fully healed. I can send him out, too. I was going to say, you have to just watch. If you're ever doing this where you send out just your land group without your ACU, be very vigilant about uh, watching, you know, here for when the enemy pops up. Um, just because, like... If it's an ACU, you want to get the F out of there. If it's a huge group of tanks, yeah, you're not fighting that. Your bots, man. Use your speed to your advantage. Pick your fights. Run away. We'll run away and get some Brackman. We'll send some around on the flank. Um, NG, I don't want you going out with my ACU quite yet. Let's send, get you back into base and uh, get one more factory, I think, and then we'll start upgrading our... Uh, or getting a research station, I should say. How many energy do I have? Nine. I think I can run five factories off of nine energy, and it's it'll, it's tight. The factories have to be upgraded slightly, or veteran, I should say, so that you start getting discounts on the bots. It's really the energy that you have to be uh, careful about. Okay, so he's got some uh, titans. He's got titans. Good for him being a uh, little proactive in making sure that when he faces my army, he's going to be able to fight it. Titans are good when you're facing Siren. Now 
Uh, I see he's got uh, three factories by the look of it. One research station. So he is beating me for research at this point, but I do have more production in it as well. Um, I'm just going to run my bots away right this second. Run my AC away too. With that sort of build, he probably doesn't have a lot of spare mass at the moment. I'm just running away so I can like build up my group here, and then I'm going to like turn on him. And I feel like I can take him, which is right about now. See how these bots are catching up? Oh, I turn on him now. What are you going to do? Oh, his AC is there. I'm getting out. I'm not fighting that. But I did take out most of his land blob just with a strategic turnaround. And keep in mind, you can't do those types of turnarounds if you're sitting in your base with your with your units. So that's why, like, especially as Cybran, your units move so fast, man. You gotta just like be out there. Let's not. Let's not sacrifice our units. Let's drag around some waypoints here. Make sure we're where we need to be. Um, he's pushing up on me though. That's a good strat to do against a cyber player, just to get in their face. They're rather weak in the one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. thing again where I just turn on them. See, now he's got to run his ACU away or else die, so I'll run away. Uh, my ACU is actually at uh, similar health to his, so I can go back in and fight with it. Ooh, uh, let's get a shield and TMLs on here before he Commander, even these guys here. Let's get TMLs on all of them. I might even walk my ACU up with my pod uh, army here. You do what I want building Brack. Commander under attack. Yeah, I walk my ACU up and uh, capture this. He was in no position to be building in that area. Commander under attack. Oh, he's actually separated. From, I think I can win the game here. All right, good game. And that's how like uh, Cybern land rushes can be done. Just gotta scout the guy out early, make sure you know what he's got, and then just sort of uh, plan accordingly. That one maneuver I did where like I backed all my troops off, backed off, backed off, backed off, and then BAM! And he, I guess, wasn't paying attention, or he got a little complacent with his group size and his ACU being there. Anyways. Little mistakes that are made. When you're playing... We're playing a new version. This is like, uh, I've been releasing new versions daily almost right now, just because... Uh, I've had some time to do so, tweaking some balance here or there, so this is new to all of us, again, every time I do this. But every time I do it, we get closer and closer with our balance goals. Anyways guys, good games. If you made it this far, like the video if you liked the video, throw a subscribe down if you're uh, feeling generous to me. And uh, make sure you check out Pinner's music. And if you're not part of the Discord, please join the Discord, guys. Can't hurt. Can't hurt to be in the Discord channel. Get that Discord app. It's actually, like, a great app. If anybody hasn't doesn't know Discord, like, you're missing out. Anyways, I'm yammering on here. Uh, I like to pad the end of the games just so it's not a spoiler when the game's... When the video is only, like, 13 minutes long and the game's, like, 8. Um, so, you guys, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Good games. Till next time. Bye for now.